Hello everyone, welcome back to PC Tech Help. This is Cyber Sorcerer, and we're on part two of Windows Firewall. And on, in this uh, tutorial, we're just going to do a quick check on see what policies that we have, or if there are any policies or restrictions that we might be on. And that might answer a lot of our questions on why something's not happening, or why something's being blocked, or something like that. And um, you know, again, these are intermediate, I mean, beginner, uh, inter uh, beginner videos. So we're just covering the basics. We'll progress to intermediate and advanced as time goes on. But um, how I what we what we need is a command box, and how I like to do that is hit the window key and R. It quickly run, brings up our run dialog box here. But you can also hit start and run and type in CMD and hit enter. That brings up our command box. Let me zoom in here for you. Like everybody to see the commands that I'm writing so they can write them down. First of all, we're going to write NAT SH and firewall. That's who we're talking to. We need to show and we want to state. For the show, there's also another command called config, but that'll be in a later video uh, down the road. And verbose is going to be equal to enable. Now, if I hit enter right now, there's going to be a whole bunch of white uh, text go by. So to stop that, we're going to send all this output to a file. So we're going to hit the we're going to space, hit the greater than symbol, and I'm going to put it in the C directory under Lonnie, which is my own little personal folder there. And we'll call it firewall profile dot text. And then just hit enter, and then we're going to open it up in Notepad++. And now it's opened up in uh, Notepad++. This is a uh, free program. Um, I'm probably sure the majority of you people out there already know about it or have heard about it on the internet. Um, scroll through here real quick. You can see there's quite a bit. Let me actually just scroll out. I'll scroll back in. But you can see there's actually quite a bit of information here, especially when you get down to the bottom. Um, all right here and everything. And what this is, this is basically a snapshot of the current state of the firewall as it is right now and what we need though for right now for our purposes is on our firewall status right here we need to look at profile and our group policy version and right now that's standard and none which means all of our rules are done locally right now on the firewall um, this could also be uh, along with standard it could also be domain which means we're a part of a domain or we're in a domain controller. And down here, we basically also have just two uh, uh, answers that could be in there, either none or Windows Firewall. But standard and Windows Firewall would mean that you're part of a group policy and a domain Windows firewall here on group policy would also mean that you're a part of a domain or there's a domain controller that's uh, controlling the domain that you're on along with the other computers on there which you mostly find that in companies and stuff like that but this is just a quick rundown um, if you have something that's not working uh, a remote connection or you're trying to get something in and it's not coming in uh, you might want to make sure that you're not part of a domain or if you are not got any restrictions that a network administrator might have enforced on you. Um, a lot of times when you open up the Windows control panel you won't see the enable or exceptions tabs and stuff like that and, and a network administrator can make it to where those don't show up when someone if someone does open the control panel so you can't mess with those and it's the same for the internet options uh, the security tab and stuff like that all those can be taken out by an administrator so and like I said, all this other stuff right here will get covered uh, later on as you learn more about uh, firewall and TCP IP and uh, pr the protocols and everything like that. But uh, this is just a quick rundown. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you can take a look at it in your uh, profile and uh, just see what you are. If you're a home user or you don't really do a whole lot with your computer, your profile is pretty much going to be standard and your group policy version is going to be none, kind of like mine is right here. I really, I, again, you know, you're, you're going to see a lot of insecure settings on my systems, but I'm a, you know, 
basically a security researcher. I actively hunt malware and bad programs so I can reverse engineer them, find out how they work and stuff like that. So I run, you know, I don't run a whole lot of heavy uh, security stuff because I welcome malware and stuff and anyone that wants to invade the computer. Or at least this one that I'm working on. This is one that I do all my hunting with. Naturally, you know, my personal computer, I'm not so open with. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stick around for part three of our firewall.